Hey everybody, this is Matt and I wanna give you five ways that you can provide students with better feedback on Google Classroom. So let's go ahead and show you and how, how to get started. First of all, you wanna get into your assignment. So I have a sample assignment right here. I'm gonna open it up. Now I'll have my students listed right here. As you can see, I have a sample student here. I'm gonna open that up and I'm gonna open one of the um, article summaries uh, that I had available there. Now, you'll notice that there were two different attachments on this example. Sometimes that happens. Students will accidentally create one more than they're supposed to, uh, or they may have multiple attachments. I'm simply gonna to go to this right here to the second attachment to check out the article. Now notice over here on the right hand side, you have where you can put a grade and you have this. This is the private comment section. Uh, so you can provide a private comment to your student and hit post. They can correspond with you and they are the only person who can see that conversation. So that's idea number one. Idea number two is using the comments. Now you might be used to using comments uh, but you can use the comment bank. Let's show you how that works. So first of all, if I uh, go right here and I wanted to maybe highlight uh, and use a comment right here, I could add a typical comment, okay? So that's something that I do often. However, the comment bank is right here where you can add comments in a comment bank. So for example, I can add things such as make sure that you indent, um, I can add multiple comments by starting a new line. So maybe check grammar. And okay, so I put down these three things. I'm going to go ahead and hit add. And you'll notice that they list over here in the comment bank. Now, if I had more than, uh, you know, the comments right here appearing in this, if I had a significant number, I should say, of comments, I could simply go right here to this magnifying glass to look them up. All right, so let's go back to right here. So the third way that you could add is add a comment out of the comment bank. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just select this right here. I'm gonna choose add comment. And what I can do is I can go over here and I can just choose the copy to the clipboard and uh, paste it right in and hit comment. So now that will be a comment for my particular students. The other thing that I can do is I could actually go right here and I could leave another comment, but instead of copying and pasting, I could use a hashtag. And when I use a hashtag, it opens up all the comments that I have in my comment bank. And I can go right here and just select it and hit comments. So that's another really slick way of adding feedback. It's idea number four, using the hashtag. Okay, so something else you could do as well is in this document, you're gonna notice that this green button is on. Okay, what that green button means is that you are in suggestion mode. Okay, what does suggestion mode mean? Well, let's say for instance, I say, oh wow, you need to make sure that that's bold and underlined. Um, and let's increase the font size a little bit. What it does for the student is it provides a suggestion. They can either reject it or accept it. Now, if they accept it and they hit the check mark right here, it'll automatically become bold, underlined, and the font size will increase on their copy of this paper. The uh, rejection will just simply erase that suggestion and the student will no longer have to um, worry about that. All right, so let's say for instance, uh, this last part, uh, idea number five is all about, okay, how do you offer even better feedback? Well, here's another way that you can offer feedback as well. So this, let's say that I like this paragraph right here. I wanna add another comment, but what I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use a tool called Moat. Okay, so Moat is a Chrome extension. You're gonna see it right up here on my screen. Um, if you go to Moat, uh, it will allow you to record a audio comment and make it available for students regardless of what device they're, they're on. So in order to do that, you need to visit 
uh, the Chrome Web Store and download the Moat Chrome extension in order for this to work. Now, once you have the Moat Chrome extension on here, it says click to record or hold for Moat Book. So I'm going to go ahead and record. And I'm going to say, hey, this is a really good paragraph right here. You live to be 115 years old. Can you provide a little bit more information on perhaps some other things in his life? So I'm going to go right here. I'm going to go ahead and hit comment. And now the cool thing is, is that students can go in and they can listen to this comment. Record. And I'm going to say, hey, this is a really. OK, so they can go in and do that. Bonus tip, OK, would be offering audio or video feedback in the form of a screencast, much like you see right here. I'm using a tool called Screencastify. If you go up to Screencastify, uh, this right here will allow you to record a video. You can see my picture down in the bottom right hand corner. And I also have these lovely tools right here that I could use to help annotate. So that could be a